Oh, mining obsidian takes so long. Why does it have to take this long? <gasps> Wait, I'm such an idiot. The new enchanting system works properly in beta 1.9 pre-release 4. So let's go and see if there's something that might help with this. You know what? 20 levels, that ought to be enough. Let's head over to the enchanting table and I've got a brand new pick. Place it in there and, well, this is gonna be a bit of a gamble. Let's see what we get with just the first one here. We got squeaky toy. Huh. Okay, well, let's go give it a try. Oh, these new enchantments are gonna be such a game changer. I can't wait to try this out. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. <gasps> what? No. Uh, let me try that again. Oh, oh no. This is no good at all. Hmm. I wonder who I can speak to about a refund. Well, this thing's no good to anyone. Good riddance, I say. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft The Journey with me, Bugman CX. We're currently playing Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 4 in this epic Let's Play series where we upgrade our survival world of Minecraft through all of the different versions and explore the game's history along the way. And today, we're going to be taking a look at enchanting because it was implemented in the previous version, pre-release 3, but it wasn't properly implemented, it didn't really work. But here in pre-release 4, it does work, all of the enchantments are all in place and everything should work, so I'm really keen to test this out and see what we can discover through this new system. If you remember in the last version, pre-release 3, because the enchanting system wasn't properly implemented, we were able to enchant items, but we weren't able to see exactly what they were. So I'm gonna head over here to the little area that I have where I keep everything and take a look at the items that we enchanted and see exactly what we got. Round the corner here, I've got our enchanted tools and enchanted armor. And in between episodes and in between upgrades, I went ahead and I created armor in leather, iron, gold, and diamonds as well, as well as all of the tools in the different types, wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond. And it's also possible in pre-release three to enchant the shears and to enchant the flint and steel. I almost forgot what it was called there. Let's head over here to the armor and have a little bit of a look at what we got. So you might remember that it actually just said enchanted with a couple of exclamation marks. No idea what it was, but in this version we should be able to find out. So let's have a look, oh I don't know, at the diamond boots. Diamond boots, we got feather falling one in that last enchanting session, but let's have a look at the leggings. Feather falling one, feather falling one. Every single enchantment is Feather Falling 1, and the reason for that is because in pre-release 3, the enchanting table would only apply Feather Falling 1, no matter what the enchantment was and no matter what the level was. It was just a way of testing the system, really, but it ended up giving us some unique items that are not possible to get in future versions of the game because Feather Falling 1 can only be applied to boots. So let's go over here and have a look at the tools and see what we got here. Well. These are all exactly the same. We have Feather Falling 1 on each of these different tools. I've got a wooden hoe with Feather Falling 1. And over here I've got shears with Feather Falling 1. And a flint and steel with Feather Falling 1. Now can I actually do anything with this? I don't think so. I mean we'll obviously keep them because they're, as I said, unique items. But what a strange thing to see in the game. Why don't we do some enchanting for real? Good idea, huh? Yeah, I thought so. We've got our enchanting table here and I've got some stone pickaxes here just to practice with. So let's just throw one in the table and see what we get. So when we place it down here in this slot here, we can see a number of enchantments come up, but we have no idea what they are. They're all obfuscated by this strange alphabet that we've seen before, although we know that these are just random words and they have absolutely no bearing on what enchantment you're gonna get. The only clue you get are these numbers over here, which are the number of levels required to give you the enchantment that it's going to give you in that slot. But it doesn't really tell you exactly which enchantment you will get. 
it'll just give you an indication of which type of enchantment you're more likely to get because some enchantments and different levels of enchantment power are more likely to turn up at different levels on the table than others. But for now, what we do know is that we have a level 10 and a level nine enchantment and also a level 20. You can see down here, I currently have 15 levels, which is why level 20 is currently disabled and I'm not able to click it even though I try. And that also means that the game is going to take nine levels or 10 levels away from me if I choose one of these enchantments here. But what I can do is I can actually pick up the item and place it back down and I get a completely new set of enchantments that the game's calculated for me that I can apply to this stone pickaxe. So let's just choose one here. Let's spend seven levels on a stone pickaxe. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying that because levels take a long time to get, but let's do it. We've enchanted a stone pickaxe and we got efficiency and unbreaking. These are some fairly common enchantments for the tools. There are different enchantments for different types of items. The tools get different enchantments. The weapons get different enchantments. Your armor gets different enchantments, etc. And we can have a look at all of that as we go. But again, I can just keep enchanting like this and we can get more and more different enchantments. Oh, these are all pretty boring, aren't they? I need to now farm some levels. But once I build up a few more levels, we can discover what some of the other enchantments are within the game. So what are the maximum number of levels that I might need in order to get the maximum level enchantment possible in the table? Well, it might surprise you, it's actually 50 levels. And as we know, the XP system gets exponentially harder for each level that we get. So as we move from level five to six, to get to level seven will now cost double the XP and so on and so forth. So the higher up in levels you go, the more and more killing you've got to do to get those delicious XP orbs. So to actually get to level 50 within the game is going to actually take you a long time. But in order to get access to these higher level enchantments, we need to power up our enchanting table. An enchanting table on its own like this is going to offer us enchantments in the range of levels one through to five five being the maximum that the table will offer us. But we can actually power up this enchanting table by using bookshelves. By surrounding the enchanting table in bookshelves spaced one block away from the enchanting table, you can see that it's drawing in these mystical characters into the enchanting table, effectively powering it up. Now, if I do the same thing again and try and enchant something, you'll see that we're being now offered a level 10. The more bookshelves, the more levels, essentially. You can surround the table with lots of bookshelves. In fact, this is 15 bookshelves surrounding the enchanting table. And if we do this again, you'll see that we have even higher levels of enchantments being offered to us now. Level 17, level 23, some significantly higher levels there. Now to line up these bookshelves and make sure we're taking advantage of them, you need to space them one space away from the enchanting table. So between here and the enchanting table, you can see there's at least one air block at the same level. You can actually place bookshelves at this level here, one level above the enchanting table, or at the same level as the enchanting table, just as long as there's nothing blocking in between the enchanting table and the bookshelves. But considering Minecraft in this version gives you enchantment levels up to level 50, how many bookshelves do you need in order to get the maximum level enchants within the game? Well, the answer is 30 bookshelves. Hello. So this is what 30 bookshelves looks like around your enchanting table, and this will give you the highest probability of getting the highest level enchantments within the game. So if I just use the enchanting table here and try and enchant these booties, we can hopefully see some very high level enchants being offered, anywhere up to level 50 being the maximum. Come on game, random number generation, there we go, we got a 45, and if we keep going we might even see higher. It's pretty rare to get a 50 because you have to be here for quite a while before a 50 will show up, but they do come up every now and then, and you can just keep cycling through like this until you get what you're looking for. But because you can manipulate the table in this way with the number of bookshelves, this might give you some interesting ideas for implementing redstone. A little bit like this, I've been working on a contraption out here in the enchanting area, and it works a little bit like this. You can see a whole lot of repeaters on the floor here, and these have all got timings, so that when I flick this lever, these bookshelves will all pop up in sequence like this, 
and it should make for a nice effect whenever we want to come in and use the enchanting room. You could make this so that you have different number of bookshelves come out based on different levers, but I thought, you know what, I'll just make it so you can do basic level enchants or these mid-tier enchants, and I'll have a system for doing max level enchants as well. Ah, uh, yeah, I got creepered. All right, that's enough farming levels. Let's check it out. As you can see, I've expanded the enchanting room here and I think it looks pretty cool. We've got three different modes of enchanting that you can use. First is just the basic enchanting here with an unpowered enchanting table giving you just the basic levels of enchantments. Nothing very exciting there. But let's say, oh, I've got 25 levels to spend and I don't need max enchantments coming up all the time. So if we press this button up here, you'll see all of these bookshelves come out of the walls and the floor and I think that looks amazing. Going back to the enchanting table now, of course, we get offered higher level enchants. But what happens if we want to enchant at the max level in the game? Well, right above our heads is the Giga Enchanter. Up here are a full maximum 30 levels, 30 bookshelves surrounding the enchanting table. Of course, it goes up higher, but that's just for the effect. I might even build it higher one day just because I think it might look really outrageous. But on this table, we should be able to see the highest level enchants possible within the game, 39, and get even higher as well. So what I'm going to do now is farm these poor little spiders here and build up my levels and these skeletons too, because I want to enchant something at level 50. I really want to. This is tiring work, and if you want to save your mouse clicks a little bit, there's a little trick you can do. If you go into your options and then to controls, you can change your attack button to another key, let's say Z on the keyboard here, and that means that when you go back out to the game, you can just tap the Z key instead of clicking your mouse buttons, and it's just a little bit more comfortable. Oh, uh, I'm so tired of this. <gasps> We're almost there. Come on, come on, so close. Can I get 50 exactly? Come on skeletons, be kind. One more, 50, 50 points. Okay, 50 levels. Let's go enchant something. Uh, we want to do it on the Giga Enchanter because I've got this diamond pickaxe here. Oh wait, before I get too excited. I forgot about phase two. I gotta sit here clicking until Level 50 comes up in the enchanting table. It's got to be said, this was worse than grinding for the levels. At least with the levels, I don't have to look at the screen so much. But this, this required my eyes to focus on the screen, waiting for that magical 5-0 to appear. My eyes nearly melted. It was so much clicking that I had to set up an auto hotkey script to send the double clicks from my keyboard. But... Over 40 minutes of cycling through the table, and the probability of now needing prescription glasses, it finally happened. Are you kidding me right now? Oh. No, not that. This. Ah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where are my headphones? Huh. I'm so excited. That was literally the most mind-numbing thing I have ever done. But I finally got a level 50 enchantment that came up on the table. I have no idea what it is. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh, Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4. That's not bad. Is it really though? Is it really worth all that effort? These enchants are okay. But is it really worth all that grinding and then waiting for the level 50 to appear on the enchanting table? I don't know. I gotta play with this system a whole lot more to understand if that's good or not. But for now, let's store it in this chest here. The grindiest pick pick axe e ever. Level 50 enchant. Beta 1.9 pre-4. And we'll pop that away in this chest, never to be used again. This is literally the grindiest episode that I've had to do in ages. My levels have now reset to zero. I gotta start from scratch. But there is actually a ton of stuff that I've been learning about the enchanting system while I've been exploring all of this. For example, when we had a look at these earlier in the episode, we realized that in the enchanted tools, we had enchanted sword, pickaxe, shovel, axe, and hoe. We were able to enchant the hoe. But as it happens, if I 
bring up the enchanting table here and try to enchant this hoe. For some reason, as of pre-release 4, you can no longer enchant the hoe. So technically our enchanted hoes, even though they've got feather falling, must be a discontinued item. I presume enchanting the hoe happens again in a later version. I seem to remember doing it in future versions of Minecraft, but I just thought that was a really strange one because you would hope that you could put things like unbreaking and so on on your diamond hoe, but I guess not. The grind is real. And I gotta tell you, sometimes while I'm standing here just grinding at these XP farms, I just eat the spider eyes because even though I lose health, they'll never cause me to die. And if I just stand still, I'll recover all of my hearts as long as I have enough saturation. So it's a really handy way of conserving all of my normal food. There's a lot of stuff to take in when you're making these episodes and I'm always learning more and more. And one thing that I overlooked from beta 1.9 pre-release 2 was that Notch actually implemented item repair. He said in a tweet, the plan now is to do another pre-release of 1.9 this week. Yeah, it's a beta of a beta. It'll have item repairing. To prevent feeling like you're missing out by not repairing, it's ultra easy. Combine two damaged items to get a new item with less damage. All right, well, in my inventory here, I've got two stone hoes and they're pretty useless. So let's combine these together and see what happens. We get a brand new stone hoe. So this is a great way of combining some partially used up tools or armor, I guess, and then creating virtually brand new ones. Notch went on to say, originally I wanted to have a repair table, but it's too annoying and you end up hoarding damaged items. Huh. Uh, Notch? Yeah. With that repairing in mind though, it is possible to use repairing to get rid of enchants that you don't want. Take this pickaxe here, for example, efficiency one, uh, we don't want it. Let's put it up in the crafting grid and take this very damaged but unenchanted diamond pickaxe and combine the two together. And we get an unenchanted full diamond pickaxe. So if we take that, we can take it back to the enchanting table and re-enchant. So that can be a kind of cheap way of removing enchants. In fact, it's the only way of removing enchants. Now there are a whole bunch of enchantments that have been added to the game and you've seen some of them on the tools and things that we've enchanted across this episode so far. But I do want to have a closer look at all of these and make sure that we get a chance to have a look at all of them and understand what all of these new enchantments are. But it's going to take me quite a while to do that because as you can tell I have to grind a bucket load of levels just to be able to use the enchanting table properly. So it's going to take me probably several episodes to go through them all. But as we do enchant our items and we learn about new enchantments, I'm going to explore those enchantments and discover what they do. And it would be nice if the game actually had some kind of interface to show us how this worked, but unfortunately, Minecraft being Minecraft, it doesn't really tell you much about what's going on in-game, and you just got to figure it out for yourself. But I don't think we can finish up today's episode without learning about at least one of these enchantments, right? So let's head down here to the enchanting table. Let's use the Giga Enchanter up here and we'll enchant this pickaxe. I've got 21 levels, so let's see if we can get a level 21 or thereabouts enchant. Hopefully we'll be lucky. Level 20. That'll do. It's close enough. Let's see what we get on this one. We get Silk Touch. Wow. I was not expecting that. That is a big big enchantment to have. Unfortunately, it doesn't have anything else on here like efficiency or unbreaking. We'll learn about those in due course though. So what do we know about Silk Touch? Well, imagine if every time you unlocked a new enchantment you'd never seen before and the game informed you that you'd discovered a new enchantment and then told you something about it. Like this, for example, if it just popped up an information dialogue that showed you information about that enchantment. So it could read something like this, enchantment, and then it shows you a list of the items that this enchantment applies to. Silk touch, levels one. So we know that silk touch only has one level. Enchantment behavior. Silk touch causes blocks to drop themselves in item form. It can be used to obtain certain blocks that would normally break, such as glass or other raw blocks, such as diamond ore. Incompatible with fortune. Well, that tells us a whole lot without us having to go off and figure this all out for ourselves. But Silk Touch is way too big of an enchantment for us to explore in the few minutes we have left in this episode, so I'm going to put this away in this chest for now. Let's enchant up something else and see what else we can learn. How about this one? Unbreaking 3. This one sounds pretty interesting. 
Unbreaking, levels 1, 2 and 3. Enchantment behaviour increases the chance for an item to avoid durability reduction when it is used. Well, that sounds incredibly useful. We should be able to test this one out and have a look at exactly what's going on. I've got these 10 blocks here, and if we have a look at my NBT information, this is my player inventory, and I've just got the pick in my first inventory slot here, and you can see that it's enchanted with enchantment ID 34. That's unbreaking at enchantment level three. Currently, the damage on this pick is zero because I've never used it before. Okay, so let's get busy. Let's break this block and see what happens next. Well, have a look at that. The first thing we notice is that my pick took no damage at all. And that's because the enchantment here, Unbreaking 3, provides the possibility for not taking this durability point of damage whenever I use the pick. So let's try it again and see what happens on the second block. Again, amazingly, no damage taken. Let's try one more time. Oh, at some point we must take a point of durability damage, right? At some point we must. No. Yes, finally, we've taken some durability points of damage. Let's have a look at our NBT data once again and see what's happened. As you can see, the damage value has now decreased by one. So this enchantment, especially at level three, is an amazing way of making sure that your tools are going to last. Gotta say, I am really looking forward to exploring more about enchanting, and we have only just scratched the surface of what's possible in this update. The adventure update is such a mammoth update for Minecraft, and it's no wonder it's taking us so long to get through it all. But in the future episodes coming up, we will explore more of the enchanting and discover more enchantments and explore what they do. But until then, unfortunately, we have run out of time in today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and to my wonderful, amazing patrons who are always there supporting me, Thank you all so, so much for your support. I'll see all of you in the next episode, but before you go, if you'd like to join my Discord, you can do that in the links down below, or if you would like to just leave a comment and say hello, I'd appreciate that too. But until then, this has been BugmanCX. You've been watching Minecraft The Journey. Bye bye!